What does MCAP stand for? All right, so what is MCAP, right? Like my t-shirt says, MCAP. It is the Moorpark College Archaeology Program. And what does that entail? So it's really a series of classes that are on Saturdays. And we're all day Saturday from 9 to 345. And in those classes, you learn the skill set of doing archaeology, right? This isn't all about the history of archaeology. You get that elsewhere. This isn't all about the theoretical background of archaeology. You get that elsewhere. This is the skill set of how to dig a square hole. That kind of thing. And actually, this skill set is sellable. I really enjoy teaching these classes. And if you're interested, how you classically get into it is step one, you take intro to archaeology right? Anthropology 3. It's fine if you've had intro to archaeology at another institution, you know, that's, that's great. You can even begin the classes without having taken intro to archaeology at all. But I'm here to tell you, you're much better off if you've already taken archaeology, right? And you got to take it at one point anyway, so why not take it at the beginning? Once you're there, the three Saturday classes are uh, field methods, which is really in our case, which is excavation, excavation techniques at an archeological site. The second class is archeological survey. This is using a compass and GPS units and other methods in order to make maps, right? In order to locate the archeological site and draw a facsimile map of it in different styles. And then finally, of course, there is the laboratory analysis class where we take the artifacts that we have found during the excavation phase and we bag and tag the artifacts, we clean them off, we put them in an overall catalog and we put them, we get them ready for long-term storage. This may also include um, prepping samples for carbon-14 dates and so on. So these three classes, you know, I'm really proud that we teach that at Moore Park. And I'm really happy that I've been able to do this. The, the MCAP program has been around since 2005. And it's kind of been my baby and it's something that I have um, continued to work on and refine as the years have gone by. And I do find that, that a lot of my students who do this first, it's kind of rare to find a place that teaches this stuff and we are lucky enough to do this. And second, with that skill set, my students go onward and use it in the real world and there's really two pathways that a lot of them take. Pathway number one is CRM. That's sort of local archeology, span cultural resource management where that's the business world, kind of archeology span for hire. And they use that skill set in that world and it, and it directly works there. So the CRM companies are really happy to have my students come in because they are already prepped. They already know how to dig a square hole. They already know how to map uh, a, an archeological site and use a GPS unit in order to record it, right? They already know how to bag and tag the artifacts. They already know how to fill out all the paperwork associated with that. They already know to put a scale with their photos if they're taking a photo of an archeological site. They already, more than anything, in, in a lot of ways, they already know how to survive on an archeological project. That's a big deal. Archeology span ain't for everyone. They've already had a dry run through MCAP, right? So I see that road. The other road very similar is the academic road where they use this skill set to help them on their own archeology span projects. Should they wanna go onward and get like a master's degree or a PhD or that kind of thing. They use that skill set on the field school they're on at first. And again, my students are way far forward because they already have this skill set that most other people, let's be honest, they just don't have it. And then that pushes them still forward when they're gonna do their own research. They already know what kinds of archeological excavations may or may not work for them in their area of the world. They already know what kind of mapping equipment may or may not work for them in their area of the world. They already know 
what kinds of storage options they might have ultimately for their artifacts. And they're gonna be careful of maybe not digging up too much. And in all of this, they're also gonna understand the ethics of working on an archeological site and they're gonna do the right thing. So I welcome anyone to become part of the Moorpark College Archeological Project and realize that you can start any time in the sequence. You don't have to wait for the survey class to come up or something like that. You can, you can begin at any spot in the series. It doesn't scaffold up. So whenever you want to, just, just sign up for the class and join, and then you can kind of get into the system, and we'll be happy to have you. Check us out.